out of here. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Good morning, guys. It's Blossom, and today is Monday the 13th. So today is the last day for this vlog. Okay, so basically I lied. I said Monday was going to be the end of the vlog, but it wasn't because I already posted the first vlog. So we're starting over. This is a new vlog, y'all. <laughs> Sorry for the intro. This particular vlog, and I'm going to actually close it out. And the reason why I didn't close it out for the weekend was because on Friday I recorded, on Saturday I like bullshitly, bullshitly recorded. And then, what was I doing Saturday while I didn't really record? I don't know. Oh, I went to go, did I go get a cheesesteak? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I do know for sure that I had finished the weed that I said I wasn't going to be smoking no more on Saturday. And I haven't smoked. I didn't even, I haven't even smoked since, what, what was yesterday? Sunday. I did not smoke Sunday and I'm proud of myself. And I went to sleep regular. I really thought um, I was going to have insomnia. I'm so happy that... I'm doing good. It's the first day. I'm doing good. And I like sign up to do this job or whatever because I want to save some money on the side because it's like, I don't know if it's a slow season or your girl is, is not doing what she needs to do. But until then, I'm a hustler and I'm, I'm going to keep going and getting this bread. So if it's not dancing, it's a job. If it's not that, it's my hair business, my lash business, whatever. But I just know this. I'm going hard with this YouTube. I'm going hard with my hair business. Like, I'm not about to stay stagnant no more. I hate being stagnant. That shit depresses you. And like I said, some things you can't bring with you. Like my, my weed. I cannot bring it with me. I would never have ever done the stuff I did yesterday on Sunday if I was fucking high. You know what I'm saying? And it's so crazy because... It's so crazy. I know this vlog is going to be talking about weed and dancing and all this stuff and kids and shit like that, but that really be my life. So it's like, y'all are starting so many journeys with me. It's just like crazy and I can't wait. And I hope you guys like it. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, yeah. So right now I got, I'm going to work today. I'm doing day shift. I'm going back to my, I'm going back to the white club y'all. <laughs> uh -uh. I don't want to shake no ass. Anyway. So I'm going back to my home club and I'm going to, what well, I start at 1130. I know y'all guys be on their break. That's what I love. They be on their break and they know what the fuck they there for. Like, what's up? Anyway, so I'm going to work 1130 to five, but right now I'm going to make some tea and I just cleaned up my house because I do not ever leave my house when it's like messy. My house is never dirty, but I have three kids. So I just cleaned up their room, which they kept it clean because they cannot eat in their room anymore. We're done. Mm -mm. I tried to be nice and let them eat in their room and chill, but now come to the table. So that worked out great this week. Everything's way cleaner. And I'm going to take you guys with me in a dressing room because I'm not going to get myself together because... They be so sick of me. I haven't been there in a month, but they be sick as shit of me. Like, you're never on time. And I'd be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> for real. So I'm gonna be on time for my for my uh first day back. Oh shit. Oh my god, I have a I got a meeting with my with my son's teachers also. Let me get off here. I have a Zoom meeting, but yeah, um, I'll be back. I'll um, well, I just got off the Zoom meeting with my um with my oldest son's teachers, we're actually um, doing like an IEP in, uh, in place for him. And I think, like I wasn't really gonna talk about this, but I'm a mom and I'm a young mom. I'm 31 years old, so, and I have three three kids. So 12, 10, and um, six. So my six year old is my baby. So I just feel like this is just important information. Mm, why am I being crusty like that? Ew, bitch. Anyway, do are they crusty? Bitch. Ew, that's the lighting, y'all. That's the lighting. Anyway, I just think it's like really important um, that I share some of this information because somebody else might be going through this too. So we have things in place for him. It's called an IEP. And it's just um, 
what is it? It's just literally steps that they take to help him progress in school and stuff like that. And he's on his way to middle school um this year coming up. So we had to um we had to talk about that and figure out, you know, the plan that they have for him. Is is it something that I would like? Which which I do. I do like the plan. I love teachers who actually love students who want to help them like you know how you have like I've had teachers when I was younger that were rude and like bullies like just mean like I like I remember one time like I don't know why but this always sticks in my head but it, I guess I'm scarred from it I remember I was sitting in this was fifth grade and this teacher was such a bitch I remember in class she was like does anyone have a um does anyone know or have any issues with this, um, what what's going on or whatever. It was like a problem or something like that. Me and this other girl raised our hand like, we don't know what's going on. She looked at us. She was like, okay, we can go on. Like, what? That shit was crazy. I wonder where she is now. Hopefully she's dead. Anyway, so yeah, like I'm just so happy that there's really teachers who care about kids. I like, just want my son to go to a school where they're gonna understand him because he is a smart boy that boy is smart as hell like but school and i know school is boring as shit i wasn't even all that great in school y'all i was like a c student like i just was getting by like i hated school like so i understand where he's coming from so like when i sit down in the meetings and stuff like that i don't be like oh yeah i wish this this and that because i'm sitting there like shit you sound like me <laughs> i swear to god he sound just like his mother but i always tell him i'm like you gotta do even though it's boring you just gotta do it you know just do it even though it's boring who cares it'll be done but i'm just happy that they have that they let him take his breaks like he needs you know because you know when you have if you have adhd or you're just extra hyper there's so much shit going on in your brain 1.2 seconds now you're on to another subject you know so i'm just i'm just happy we had that meeting or whatever so it's going to be in place for his last year of elementary school and on to his middle school and i'm just trying to decide what middle school i want to take him to like his feeder school is a um, middle school i went to where like i had so many problems y'all have problems in all my schools like i've been a bad bitch but anyway so it's like i don't know i want i don't really want him to go there but at the end of the day he's a boy so he's not gonna have girl problems like <sighs> not not girl fighting problems he gonna have girl problems because he has them now but other than that i don't know i don't know where i exactly want to take him i think i might um choice him into a different school though i don't like that school comment down below and let me know if your child has an iep or has extra help in school because they're like super hyperactive and school is boring to them <laughs> done that's only like 20 minutes it's giving fridays look but it's okay and you know i always have our high profile hair i 
All right, let me go pay so I can go work. There's no one here at all, so I'll probably pick up later. I'll be back on when I go on stage. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I didn't record when I was on stage because my song came on so fast. But this is my stage set. Thirteen dollars on the thirteenth. And I was sitting down talking to some guy, but all he kept doing is complaining. I hate when people complain. Uh, like, I'm a good listener, but do you have a solution for your complaining? Because I keep trying to give you solutions and you keep wanting to complain instead. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Second stage set. Big bills. Y'all. <laughs> Alright, why well, I thought I counted my money? I thought I made my goal. Like, what's up? But it wasn't bad, though. I made, um, 141-ish, or, like, probably, like, 145. So, I was, like, count with me, y'all. I can't think. And I, I wasn't smoking or nothing. You can't smoke in there. I didn't drink. I didn't smoke none of that stuff, y'all. I did everything sober. It's possible. But anyway, yeah. It was cool. I don't usually work on Mondays at my job because it's always slow. But y'all see what I made on Friday at that ratchet place. Bitch, thank you. 145 is good with me. <laughs> Shit. So let's see that. How much is 145? How much did I make in an hour? Let's see. Hold on. Okay. I just wanted to calculate that because I like to calculate and see how much I make in an hour. Basically, like I know that's not, I don't get my money every hour, but it's cool to see like how much you make per hour so this time i made 24 dollars and something per hour because i work like five hours i think let, let me see how did when what time i got on the floor like 12 or 1 i got on the floor 12 or 1 i don't know i have to reference back to my video but that's not bad 24 24 and some change an hour is not bad i really would like to make 45 dollars an hour but oh excuse me that's cool too so i'm not ungrateful i'm just so happy to be back all right i'm about to drive back home it's a little uh frothy outside but i'll show you guys my money i'm not gonna show y'all here because i don't have no tent on my windows and shit like that no y'all and then i'm in the B uh the bmw you know everybody thinks i'm rich over here i'd be like it's a car that's it the fuck I hey y'all i'm back home and I'm eating McDonald's again. And I'm only eating it because it's cheap. And I'm saving money. All right. So, and I like McDonald's. And I don't care if anybody says they don't like McDonald's because I like McDonald's and Taco Bell. Anyway, I'll tell you guys about tonight. Well, day shift. So, this lighting is horrible. Ew. All right. But anyway, y'all, let me tell you about... Oh my God, that's what I wanted to say because I was in the car or whatever. I was like, when I get home, I'm about to tell y'all. I'm going to tell you what's up. What the fuck is up? I have this weird random piece of hair right here. Whatever. But, so today, work was cool. It, for my first day back, it was really cool. And I don't never work no Monday. Because, bitch, Monday? No. Hell no. But I work Monday because I was like, I only want like... I have a little goal in mind, so I should be able to hit it. But honestly, if I would have stayed a little bit longer, I would have hit the goal. But y'all, I was burnt out. Like, I don't really do no dancing like that, but mentally burnt out, mm -mm. there's like a time, like there's like um steam. Like, you know, we gotta lie to them. We gotta act like, more peppy bitch if we had a bad day you better act like you had the best day in your motherfucking life because don't nobody want to talk to you when you look like you got an attitude like a lot of them come in there married already and a lot of them are not looking for a female who's like bitching all the time they want somebody who's listening somebody who's smiling like oh my god i can't believe that's going on with you why you seem like such a good person you shit like that but anyway <laughs> yo today i swear to god one of my customers he was like you should be an actor i said why you think i'm acting this is how i am the fuck <laughs> but he was like no you should really be an actor you do not belong here i'm like 
Thank you. I don't plan on staying here too much longer, but yeah, thanks. But yeah, it was cool. But oh yeah, sidetrack. Sorry. Um, it's the high profile hair for me because it it's just flowing. Anyway, so sorry, I keep giving y'all cliffhangers. I'm hungry. I heard a conversation. The guy who said uh, kept saying I should be an actor or whatever. I was talking to him, but he we did couch dance. We did a couch dance. I didn't really like two couch dances today. That's cool. But we did couch dances, but the men know what you're going to do and what you're not going to do just by how they put their hands on your body. Like at my club, they can touch you like or however it is. I don't know. I guess you make your own rules. I don't mind someone touching me. Don't, but don't think you about to stick fingers in places in my orifices. It's not happening, bitch. Stop playing with me. Right game, wrong bitch. Anyway. Yeah, so they try to fill you out. That's why in my job, sometimes they take you to the couch room and they fill you out. And I don't give up. That's fine with me. If you do want to do one dance, two dances, then you're like, all right, I'm good. I still got your money. I don't give up. Today was that type of day they was trying it. I'm like, no. No. And he's like, so you going to champagne rooms? Champagne rooms are more private than couch uh, couch dances. But couch dances are private too. So like, it's just more money and you get drinks. So I said, yeah, I go to the champagne room. Of course, why would I not? And he's like, so when you go back there, like, what do you do? Like, I said, I give lap dances and I talk. Like, I do the same thing I do in the couch rooms. I said, why? I said, why? What are you, what are you saying? Because I knew exactly what he's saying. One thing about me, I know exactly what's on your mind, but I want you to say it out your mouth. That's it. Say it out your mouth. I want to hear it. Let me hear. What What are you asking me? Like, if that's on your brain, what are you asking me? So, he's like, um, like, do you do other things? He's like, have, like, anything ever happened? I said, the only thing that ever happened is someone really just pulled their dick out. I don't care. Like, that's me personally. It, it doesn't matter. I'm not touching it. I'm not sitting on it. I'm not doing none of that shit. If he, he can do whatever the fuck he want to do. I don't care. Just don't touch me and don't get shit on me. That's it. Like, other than that, it's like, well, that was like the only thing that really happened to me. And I've been there for a year. That probably only happened to me like, a, like once or twice. Like, one to three times. Because I can sometimes, girl, sometimes I don't be remembering. Like, I be like blocking these people out like when I'm dancing and shit. Like, when I'm dancing or when I'm talking, I can have a full-blown conversation with somebody and I will not remember them the next day. It's just because it's in my mind and I'm playing a game. And after the game is done, I go home to real life. So I don't be remembering these people unless I've seen them multiple times. But anyway, yeah, so he was asking me if I did like extras basically and i'm like no and i was like no i don't do that i said people get caught doing stuff like that i would never have that on my name like he said y'all can tell you're different this this and that nigga what if you can tell i'm different why are you asking me things like this because you're trying to fish and see what i'm gonna let you do and he was like he asked me he said you ever let anybody eat your coochie back there no y'all if you see the rooms that we have there's no doors there's no nothing there, there's nothing there's it's not really private why the fuck would my legs be up in the air letting some old ass man eat my pussy for a couple hundred dollars no take that how you want it but no the fuck no mm. charles fuck out of here anyway <laughs> yo i'm done i am done <laughs> but y'all i'm happy that i went to work today I, I miss my job i miss my old customers and stuff like not even just the customers i've been dancing with every just one customer over there we're both gemini's we be talking so much shit i swear to god it's good to build a rapport with people Cause they might not, they may be there and not get no dances, no rooms or none of that shit. But just off the strength of you talking, they're going to tip you. And even if they don't, I promise you, 
the, when you see them again, nine times out of 10, they're going to dance you or they're going to, they're going to, um, tip you. That is how it is. You have to be, you got to be kind to people, especially where I work in my type of environment. You have to be kind to people in certain strip clubs. You just, all you got to do is shake your ass and like you go on about your business. Like, but some people like the clientele I have, they want to build a rapport with you. And that's cool. It's cool. We can build a rapport, but we, we can talk. But if, we can't talk that long. But we can talk. If it's slow, we can talk. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. At the end of the day, we may not like these men for real. But they paying our bills. Because I'm going to have to wash my hands again. I just really thought it was cold as shit. And I break. And y'all, let me tell you, this is a, this is a sidetrack. We be wearing our purses and stuff like that, but this purse is big, so it looks like I have shit in here. But I don't got nothing in here. I only have this in here. I just got my money in here. But like our purses, like sometimes our purses be big. Sometimes I bring my YSL with me, but that shit is so dirty now since I've been bringing it there. But since I'm going to be wearing pink, I'm going to be wearing this. But like sometimes the girls bring bag like this because they have shit in there. But like maybe, maybe this bag was giving I have shit in here. You know what I'm saying? No, nigga, no. Anyway. All right. Okay. Oh, I clearly must have switched my $10 bill out. Y'all, they was tipping cute. Mostly this is tips. Like, that's why I be saying, like, I hate to go to clubs where I have to dance and shit. Like, for me just to get on stage and just do stage shit, which is nothing next time i'm gonna bring you guys tomorrow I'm gonna show you guys how i'll be dancing on um stage in that club because i don't i'm gonna I'm show y'all i'm gonna show y'all all right so this is my money I'm 45 and this literally I, I kid you guys not this was tips good morning guys um I'm at work I gotta fix my hair and stuff but um I just wanted to come on here because my intro for earlier was like bullshit I said hey I'm eating oatmeal talk to you guys later <laughs> I'm dead y'all I'm kind of tired and I smoked like a little bit, like two pools. That's it. Yesterday with my friend. That was it. But I really controlled myself. Ish. Ish. Like, I like really took like two, like two, three hits and that was it. And I was like, mm, no. And then it started, my stomach started hurting. So I was like, oh no, 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 no. So anyway, I'm here at work and our goal today is $200. It's Tuesday. So, or 300 because sometimes it'd be like different in here. But, um, yeah that's our goal for today two to three hundred dollars here at the club for day shift so i'm gonna go get ready i was supposed to be here at 11 30 it's 11 50 um and yeah all right let's do this they're looking at me i hate when my cust when customers see me inside my car but all right i'll be i'll, I'll be back when um <laughs> i'll be back when i gotta get myself together bye i just wanted to show you guys my outfit Hey y'all, I'm back. I did like two stage sets already, so like this 20 was from the first stage set, and then I made, I just fucking counted this shit. Why are you forgetting how much? <laughs> My outfit's not appropriate, but I'm gonna take this set. Okay, this was this, and then I did two dances just now, so. And then I've been begging this one guy to come, and he's just being a bitch. Okay. 55. 55 here, and then 30 mm, with the dances. Hey y'all, I'm back and let me tell y'all what the fuck just happened because I was really about to punch somebody in his fucking face But anyway, oh my god, I'm gonna bleep all I'm bleeping out all my cusses because I'm never gonna get monetized if I keep cussing and I have a cussing problem but anyway. Hey guys, it's Blossom and today is Wednesday. So I went to work yesterday, which was Tuesday, but y'all When I got back home, I was so tired. I literally 
I think I worked for eight hours. I did because it was like slow. I think it was slower than Monday. So I was like, all right, let me just stay here. And I'm happy I didn't stay on Monday because I felt like I just wouldn't have the energy to stay um, yesterday, which was Tuesday. So yeah, first of all, before I do this money count, y'all, or we can, I can't multitask. I got to tell y'all this story first. So y'all, I go up to this guy and the first time I go around, like he's not, he's kind of like mm, a little bit touchy, but he's not really, you know? So I'm like, you can put it here and you can put it here. I was like, do you want to get a dance? I was like, you enjoy my dance? Do you want to get a dance or, or later or whatever? He's like, oh yeah, let me just finish my beer or whatever, uh, whatever. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll be back around. So it was my second stage set. So I come back around or whatever <clears throat> and I'm collecting my um money. So he puts all here, a dollar here and then swipes his finger on my vagina. Like you're dirty, fu you're dirty fudging y'all. When I edit this, I'm going to put fudge in like food names every time I cuss because I cuss a lot and I'm going to fix it. Anyway, so he put his finger there. I was like, oh, oh no. So I go over here. I'm like, I see a $10 bill and then he has like two more ones. I said, no, you need to give me some more money because you keep on touching me. You're not getting no dances and you're being very disrespectful. And he's like, he's like acting like he doesn't know what I'm talking about. So I grabbed the $10 off the bar. That was his change. I grabbed it off the bar. And I said, well, I'll take this. Thank you. And so then he's like, no, no, no. That's for the bar. That's for the bar. This isn't that. I don't give a fuck what it's for. Because <clears throat> I don't care what it's for. Because you're not going to keep doing that and think you give me a dollar here and there. No. Like, stop touching me like that. That's weird. I just be like what ails these people but i know it's because other girls let them do that but still like don't think because i'm walking around in a see-through dress with a thong that i want you to touch me with your nasty ass stubby disgusting fingers okay that's why i can walk around here with the same outfit and not have to change it because my ph balances aren't point i don't let people do that to me and i don't let people penetrate me I don't play that stuff when it comes to my kitty cat. Anyway, so anyway, I take that off of there or whatever. And then he says something or whatever. I was like, I don't care. He's like, I need them. I said, well, get more money out your wallet. So anyway, I walk away. So I only saw that because homie of mine grew up with all sisters. No, that he's gay. Anyway, I was reading some. So anyway, he's like, has his wallet. Like, I'm not giving it back to you. I'm not. I walked away. I'm not giving it back to you. And he says, no, I said, I'm just going to tell my manager. I'll just let my manager know. And he's like, I don't care. I said, okay, that's fine. So I go talk to my manager. I'm like, and I tell him or whatever. At first, my manager is acting like he doesn't care. And I'm getting irritated as shit. I'm getting, I'm getting irritated because B-I-T-C-H, don't act like you love me so much every time I come in here. And when I'm telling you I'm having an issue, you're not doing nothing about it. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I walked to the back and then my manager ends up following me to the back. He's like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him something right now. I was like, okay, thank you. So I see, so I end up walking from the back and I see him talking to him or whatever. And I guess the guy told on me and said that I took his money. So I went upstairs or whatever. So they called me to the office. They were like, uh, a blossom come to the office. So I was like, okay. So I come to the office, y'all, I was in trouble, but not in trouble, trouble. Cause I ain't get that money back. <laughs> yeah so anyway when i come back down the, the man is gone already so my manager's like you took his money i said yeah he, he said that like, i grab like j went over and grabbed it like you know how they be do you know how they be with us trying to make it seem like we're real aggressive and i'm i'm like the most bubbliest girl in there but anyway i was like i didn't go over the counter and do that i just grabbed it i said run the cameras back i just grabbed it he said i did run the cameras back and you grabbed it i was like oh <laughs> i don't remember it like that but anyway then he's like i literally had like a whole lecture and i'm like yo i had my bang or whatever i'm like I said, well, look, you know, I've been here for almost a year. I'm unproblematic. Like, I've never had these problems with people because no one's ever disrespected me like that. And I just felt some type of way. And I know two wrongs don't make a right. 
whatever, whatever, whatever. And he's like, yeah, don't do anything like that because we had a situation like that before where a girl grabbed a pile of money and threw it on another girl and they tried to, uh, he uh, tried to sue her or something like that. Sir, you can clearly see if you've seen in the camera and you've seen him do what he did because he said he's seen that too. If you've seen him do what he did, you can clearly zoom in and see that was a $10 bill. I'm not scared at all, at all. So anyway, I was just like, mm-hmm. You know, you guys sit there and listen. Cool, whatever. I was just waiting for him to tell me to give the $10 back because B-I-T-C-H, I wish the F-U-C-K I would. I wish the fuck I would. So anyway, he was gone or whatever, but he was like, all right, well, just don't do that again. I'm like, okay, sorry. Got back to work. But anyway, y'all, that was so weird. But anyway, I, then I needed to take like, I was supposed to get off at five, so I just needed to take like a little break. I kept trying to get this person to come in and he was just being weird, but honestly, I just think he just ran out of money. Like, let's talk about it. So, <laughs> and not in a bad way, like, he probably ran out of money. Like, he was always in a club. Ooh, excuse me. So, anyway, like, I took a little break and then um, I ended up coming back out there at 5.30 and then I seen one of my friends so i was like oh i said where the f you been at he was like oh and then he's a gemini just like me so it's like it was so funny we always be bagging up the whole time so he brought me some drinks and stuff like that y'all we got like six dances or whatever so y'all it was it was cute it was cute but all right let's do the money count let's do the money count and then i have something else to say too because y'all i was drinking um i was drinking um Yeah, I was drinking Crown Apple, and I don't know if it was the alcohol or what, but when I tell y'all I had came home, obviously I was tired of shit. I did an eight-hour shift in heels, and I did multiple stage sets, So, and then I did like 11 dances. So <clears throat> anyway, I had came home. I cannot get this money out of here. I had came home. And I ended up going to Wendy's to get like a burger. Well, I got a double cheeseburger because I'm fat. But I ended up going to Wendy's to get a double cheeseburger. I had that. And honestly, as I'm eating it, I'm starting to feel a little weird, like my belly or whatever. So I'm like, mm, okay, so I ate like most of it. And then, y'all, I why when I go to lay down, I just start getting cramps in my feet, cramps in my legs like it would not stop like i'm telling you for like i don't even know like y'all i went from laughing like yo what is going on to being like oh my god do i need to go to the hospital i'm freaking out and then i'm like damn was it the liquor am i dehydrated like i don't got no bananas in here i don't got no um coconut water nothing like y'all i'm dying so I'm like, damn, so you know, y'all don't know me too, too well yet, but I'm a Googling queen. I will Google the, the shit out of a symptom and it's always gonna tell me I'm dying, but <laughs> it's always gonna say you dying. But still, I was like, damn, all right, I what did I do? I ate beef. Okay, I was like, all right, I ate beef. Maybe that is a contributor. Why I read and it's really, beef can really be a contributor of inflammation of the muscles and stuff like that i don't know why but it can and then on top of that i was drinking and then on top of that i was hungry but i didn't want to eat at my job because that food be so salty no offense but like i can't fuck with it but yeah so i was i guess i was hungry so drinking plus being um um drinking making you dehydrated plus the uh Damn, plus the beef, I guess that's just, it, it really was a combination. Y'all, so I ended up going to my cab and I was like, I found electrolyte water, um, electrolyte packets. I was like, I did that and it worked for a little bit. And then I started drinking more water to stay hydrated. Then I took like a, a cart cartilage pill because it had magnesium in it. I was like, all right, this has magnesium. This is everything I need in here. So I had took that too. And some pain pills. I took like two Tylenols or whatever. And, um... I can't count at this time, but this is that right there. So I had did that, y'all, and then I used a heating pad. Oh my God, when I tell y'all, oh my God, that was the weirdest shit ever. And I don't know, comment down below and let me know what can you use for Charlie horses or like muscle spasms in the legs? Cause that really just started and honestly, 
that shit scared the fuck out of me but anyway let's count That's a hundred and one. <clears throat> and then two hundred, boom, made the goal. So all right. Ten dollars from the creep. <laughs> Three hundred times twenty. Brain fart twenty-one. Okay, so okay. So we made one, two, three. 321 on a Tuesday for day shift, day shift ish, because I did like day shift and evening and I took a little few breaks here and there. But yeah, so that's what we made for Tuesday. And I'm about to get ready to go to work in my house wow. fee or whatever, but I'm gonna take $40. And then, <clears throat> yeah, my house fee is like $36. Probably not because I'm gonna be on time. I've been being on time lately ish. So. Yeah, or should I do the dollar? I'm gonna give them dollar bills. I'm not giving them the big bills. I'm hoping the person that I keep begging to come ends up coming sometime this week. <laughs> Cause like, come on, you're making me work hard. It's like, I'm not even working hard, but still. Y'all, it's not working hard, but just know talking to people is just as hard as dancing on people because everything is mental and physical. So speaking to someone that's still physical, it's still mental, you're still lying. You're still acting like you care. It's like, nah, I do be caring though, like, I do. When I have genuine conversations, like, I'd be like, yeah, that's cool. You meet all different types of people when you have um actual conversations with them, honestly. White, black, all that. Okay, anyway, so I'm done now. It's like, it's 12 o'clock. I just left a little bit later. I was working from four to uh 10 well i got here at like four something so like i got on for like five ish or whatever but it's been dead all day literally dead all day this is just tips y'all worse than monday this is 46 dollars and my tip out was 36 dollars this is what i made i made my money back it's terrible, but you know, tomorrow's gonna be better. And honestly, they're having like this party. It's like our sister club. And they're having a party there today. So it's like our customers be there and here too, cause they're traders. But anyway, it's like, just get it. But they be here and there too. And it's like open bar and shit too. But we're having our party tomorrow. It's it's up from there. I ain't worried about this. That's fine. This is uh, um, some, some gas money real quick but tomorrow i'm gonna be working um morning shift but i might stay a little bit longer you already know i'm staying so i make some bread but i try to stay longer but it's so dead it's only dancers here like we're just like what the fuck like yo it's so crazy but it's all right but yeah i mean 46 and really i just talked today honestly i was just chilling today i had drinks and stuff like that with the regulars who don't really get dances. So it was okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You win some, you lose some. Dancing is gambling, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so I'm gonna go home, take a shower and get ready for tomorrow. Oh, and then I have to go do my drug test for uh the uh, job tomorrow. So yeah, and then I'll be on my way to work. So I'm gonna close this blog out right here. <laughs> Yeah.
she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. 